to me, running helps clear my mind. And like, for example, if you're having a bad stressful day at school or just with anything in general, you can just kind of go out for a run and help clear your mind. Honestly, I kind of signed up for cross country not really knowing what it was about. I just kind of thought it'd be fun to be a part of a team going into high school. And then I started it and I absolutely hated it. But because it was so hard to get into shape, but then once I was able to keep up with it, I was able to improve and now here I am and I'm running at college. If I'm supposed to run and I don't, I feel like I'm, I'm almost like mad at myself for not doing it and I feel like I'm going to fall behind because I'm the type of person that if I don't run for a couple days then I won't, when I get back and run again it won't be at the same spot of where I was before. I'll be like fewer mileage in slower times. I felt like giving up mainly when injuries started happening because they like really just take a lot on you when you're not able to participate and you're like stuck in the trainers doing a lot of rehab and stuff. It's just like kind of frustrating and makes you just kind of want to like give it up and all but you just got to keep like pushing through with the PT and put in the work to make yourself better I guess. I have POTS syndrome and it's pretty much just like quick movements your blood pressure will just like drop and you get like really dizzy and most of the time like you'll be like on the verge of passing out or you'll actually pass out it affects me mostly in situations like where it's like really crowded somewhere or hot or a place where i might be more anxious then i'll kind of like start feeling like i'm gonna start getting dizzy and it's happened to me like at work before I'm a cashier in a grocery store and like it's happened a couple times where I just don't really know what's going on and all of a sudden I'm like sitting on the ground and I can't see or hear which is pretty scary but it does affect me a lot in my everyday life because I'm always kind of on the edge of if it's gonna if I'm gonna have an episode or not. I think athletics has actually helped my pots because um it like kind of keeps me moving and that like I don't really think about it as much because I'm more focused on like my running portion but there are been times where I've been running and all of a sudden I like can't see or hear again and I'm trying to like find my way to the ground but it kind of feels like I'm not really where I am if that makes sense it feels like I'm kind of dreaming so I've had that happen a couple times on some runs which is pretty scary especially if you're not around with anyone and you're kind of alone the worst episode I've had was in my junior year of high school. I was in my chemistry class and we were playing like a Kahoot game on our phones and we were in the middle of it and all of a sudden I just knew I was going to pass out and luckily my friend was sitting next to me and she knows kind of like how to handle those types of situations. and. Um, I was sitting on a stool but I couldn't even get off the stool to go sit onto the ground because I was afraid of just like completely passing out but I ended up like passing out over and over again on the table forward and I was w very pale and shaky and sweating and then the nurse came and got me and that was that. Not fun. I've had POTS since 5th grade which would be 8 years now. I kind of try and like stay positive and just hope like I'm in a good situation like I'm in a good around good people that know kind of what to do if something like that happens and hydrate myself and make sure I'm like eating enough but mainly like making sure I'm like comfortable in the situations I'm in because if I'm like a little nervous that kind of acts up too. I don't give up running when knowing that I have POTS because it just like gives me something to look forward to kind of like a distraction and it also just like keeps me healthy and like in shape so I try and just look for the positive things in life rather than looking like on the negative things so if I'm like having an episode, I'm not like, oh great, my day's over, I'm going to be wiped out for a couple of days. I'm kind of just like 
okay, it's happening, like, what steps can we take to make this go away? So you're just kind of like, okay, well, we're gonna get some Powerade, and then we're gonna go lay down and get a salty snack, and then it's gonna be better, hopefully.